Hi everybody, it's Dr. Dan. In BMA 214, our second major project is to run flow simulation through some blood vessels using SOLIDWORKS. And so we're gonna both build the ve blood vessels in SOLIDWORKS and then run flow simulation using the SOLIDWORKS flow simulation plugin. So I'm gonna make some videos uh, that show you how to do those things in case you miss out in class or just need some extra help. Um, I mean, it's really fun, you can play around with. Uh, so I'm probably gonna have a little fun in these videos trying to make some interesting geometries. Uh, maybe more than you have to do for your actual assignment. Um, but hopefully we, I'm able to show you a bunch of things. You can learn some things and hopefully it works too. So we start off, I'm just in the virtual desktop with SOLIDWORKS. We just want to make a new part. And the first thing you want to do is basically sketch the path of the blood vessels. Um, and to do that, you just use a sketch on whichever plane you want. I use the front plane um, and do a sketch. And so I do, I need to change the units on this. I want to change to millimeters. So it's going to make me redo this. So sketch on the front plane. So I'll draw our major main vessel starting from the origin going down. And then I can dimension it using smart dimension, make it the right size I want. So I'll say I'll make this thing 50 millimeters. Exit the sketch. And so what I'm going to do is for each segment of the blood vessel, I'm going to make a new sketch. Um, that will just aid in confusion. And so I made the one for this segment. For my next segment, I need to make sure this is not selected. So I'll just uh, left click someplace in the background. You can see it's not selected. So when we make a new sketch in the front plane, it won't be part of that old one. Okay, so I'm going to start again at the origin here and draw a line for our second segment. Again, I use smart dimension. I'll make this 40 millimeters. And we can also set the angle using smart dimension from the major one. So I'll set this, I don't know, 150 degrees. Exit that sketch. So we have two segments done. Now I'm going to add our third segment. So I'll add another sketch in the front plane. And this one, instead of making a straight line, I'll have some fun with that. I'll make a what's called a spline, and so I can make some a little bit of a curvature in here. And I'm not going to use smart dimension for that. I, I didn't really measure that out. I just kind of guessed. But if you knew where it was supposed to go, you could do that. So I'll exit that sketch. So we have our, our two break here. I might as well add another one just for fun. But this one I'm going to do in a different plane just to show that we can do this simulation in 3D. Because right now everything's on the same front plane. So I'm going to choose to do one in the right plane. I'll go ahead and make a sketch on the right plane. And this one I'll just keep as a simple line. And, you know, instead of just starting up here, I'm going to go ahead and start down here a little bit. Why not make, a, make things a little bit more interesting? Again, I can use Smart Dimension. I'll set this at 40 as well. Um, I can also set the angle here. I'll go ahead and set it at 45 degrees. So that would be 135. And I can also set this distance if I wanted using Smart Dimension. So I'll go from there to there. Let's go ahead and make that 10 since that appears to be where it's at. All right, so there's the path that we're going to use for our segments of our blood vessels. And that's really the first step, is line out the path of where everything's going to go. It's kind of the skeleton of where your blood vessels are going to be. The next step is to add all the reference geometry you need to make these blood vessels. And so by reference geometry, I mean you're going to have to draw some cross-sectional uh, areas of the blood vessels. And so to do that, we need to draw planes. So we can go Insert, Reference Geometry, Plane. And we're going to basically draw planes at all the endpoints of these things. And when you draw a plane, you can basically either have two or three references. Um, obviously, three points defines a plane, so that's where you'd come up with three references. Or you can do a point and a line, that defines a plane. And that's what we'll do. So we choose a point, and our second reference is a line. And SOLIDWORKS defaults to uh, the point perpendicular to the line, and that's exactly what we want. Uh, you could change all those things up, but that's what we want for now. I'm going to repeat this process for all the other ones. 
And this is where, again, you want to make sure you have the previous one unselected or it'll think that you're using that plane as one of your references. So I'm going to choose a point, choose the line. And right now, it doesn't matter which way the normal is pointing. Uh, we just need a plane there. Okay, so this is what I mean. It got mad because I didn't unselect that plane, and so it thought one of my reference was the previous plane, and then it got mad when I selected this line. So it says, give me this rebuild error. Don't worry about that. I'm going to make sure nothing's selected, and now insert a plane. So we're going through. So we have planes at all the endpoints. I'm going to add a couple more. Um, just in case I think we will need them. I'm going to add one at this origin point. I'm also going to add one right here because um, maybe I can do like a loft in this area and see what happens. So let's do those. Okay, again, I didn't unselect, so it's mad. Okay, so I have all the reference geometry I think I need. If I need more, I can always add it. It gets kind of messy. You can always hide these if you don't want to see them. But for now, I do want to see them. And so now we're gonna, now that we've defined sort of where we're going to draw cross-sectional areas. So in the next video, I'll show you how to draw all the cross-sectional area of the blood vessels, and then we can extrude them to actually make our, our pipes for flow simulation.